Baby, Mama Santini, every time I see you, it's on sight. She said we gonna be nucking and bucking and ready to fight. Honey, why mama had me hollering? She said, you gonna take care of them ugly ass kids and not take care of your mama? The one who birthed you? The one who put you in this world? Who showed you the game? Baby, she called Teeny a little grim lip. I was hollering at Rob's mama. But I'm gonna tell you this. Um, Teeny, I don't know. You, you had the right one that day. Because, honey, anytime you got the nerve to do this in my face and you moving your mother in hand like this in my face, you, girl, you look like a girl with a snatch your Hey, y'all, welcome to Pretty Real TV. I am your girl. Yes, honey, bookie, go. I hope you're doing well this Friday or this weekend. I hope you got great plans, enjoying the fall weather, and I'm happy to see you back returning to see another video from your girl, okay? If you're new here, hey, I welcome you to click subscribe, hit that like button, drop down in the comment section. If this is your show and you love re watching reviews, recaps, then I am your girl. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. And <clears throat> wait a minute, don't forget the bell notifications thing. Don't forget it, okay? Teeny and Rob. Rob, as we know, last week, Rob and Teeny, Rob's mom, got into it with Teeny, okay? Teeny, let me tell you something, girl. You walked up in that woman's uh, uh, face in space. You did. Baby, when you when you did this, what is your... When, girl, when you, when you did this, honey... That was it. That was all she wrote. She could have snatched you to the ground. She could have taken it down. I really want to take her down. You lucky. You lucky. Mama said, back mama said, all right now. Don't let the age fool you. I, I ain't the one or the two. But it'll be a whole lot of furniture moving on this floor. Your babies will be in the corner somewhere calling 911 messing with me. She, 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 she handled it real cute, okay? But here's the thing, mama, you and your family want to be taken care of by Rob and you can't accept Teeny. You feel like Teeny is a spoiled brat and that all might be true. Mama, I ain't got, I ain't got a dog in the fight, okay? I wasn't knocking and bucking with you. I go with the best of them, but I, that wasn't me that time, okay? I've had my fights. That wasn't me. What I will say, mama, what I will say, is that you are mad because you're not the number one or the two. Hell, you ain't even the three, okay? Just by the comments that you made about her and her raggedy ass kids. Now, you said it, I didn't, okay? Carla, everybody know Carla for the kids sometimes, okay? I'm here for the children of the corn. But you mad because he, you think he's taking care of this woman and her kids. Now, I ain't gonna lie. When he was in prison, Rob was taking care of this woman and her children, as he should have, especially if he was the man of the house um, by way of Skype, Zoom, and video messaging, okay? I ain't trying to, well, I am judging, but that's their business and their household. He, she, she said he was the man of the household. He was the man of the household as he should have. He should have been taking care of them. However, Mama thinks because now he out that she is owed something. And we all know a mama like that. They feel like they, they owe something, okay? Um, but mama, that, that gremlin looking bitch comment, that was Justine and Michael. I ain't gonna even lie, honey. Michael, you do need to be snipped, okay? Y'all got a lot of kids around here. And I mean, judging by the way y'all house is always unkept and you like to punch holes in the wall, baby, you don't need no more kids. You don't need no more kids. Okay. You got an anger problem. You need anger management. Um, 
Justine says, well, you know, it's easier to get a vasectomy than it is for me to get a hysterectomy, which is true. No lie is true. One is outpatient. The other one is not. But anywho, um, this man said, well, hell, why don't you get an IUD? I said, no, -uh. no, you don't know the lingo that our OBGYN be enlightening us on. No, you don't know she need an IUD. Okay. Well, you need a step step. Now, now what? This man going to tell her. I ain't playing God. Yeah, but you ain't paying child support either. I, I'm pretty sure for at least a few of them kids you have. What you talking about? All right, 18 months out. And Melissa and Louie um, are hanging tough like there, okay? Uh, Louie tells us he got a job at the pizzeria. He's a personal trainer. Um, he's selling skin tea. <laughs> selling supplements that's what he's saying he say skin tea i play too much but he is selling supplements and um he says but he's trying to still find a real job okay so basically he hustling okay and um he thinks that a polar plunge with with melissa will help him with commitment Side note, side note, this is a side note. Um, Melissa, baby, please stop popping your lips. Stop. Like, stop pumping them up, okay? Please stop doing it. Like, it's it, either that or you overlining them. And I'm pretty sure Kylie Jenner, uh, like, told you the lie that she was uh using to get her lips the way they are. And now she ain't calmed down. I'm pretty sure you can watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians, uh, uh, one of them seasons. And she will tell you the lie that she was uh telling us for her lips. You should go look. For that episode because that them lips don't make no sense okay but anywho that's just a side note moving right along um they jump in the water they didn't even get their whole body in the water baby she got her feet wet tell my i'm numb and he got his little his little torso wet tell my that's it i thought i could do it but i can't um so this girl says well since my feet are numb and since i committed and did this why don't you commit to a ring and I was like, that escalated real quick. How, how, how the hell we get there? How we get there? And he was like, a ring over jumping in some cold water. That's what I was saying too. I was on that same thing, Louis. I was like, uh uh. And she, he was like, okay, well, you know, it's coming, but I'm trying to get my body, my mind right. You know, I'm trying to get my money up. You know, he was like, I ain't really had no money. I ain't come for money. I just. I've been on drugs, you know. I, I was on drugs, you know. I was I was smoking that ooh wee, and um, I'm starting to build myself back up. He said, "But what type of ring are we talking?" This girl says, "Oh no, just a little two carat." He was like, two carat, two carat." She was like, "Yeah, that's what I want. I want a two carat." I said. She said, let me tell you, I've been waiting on you. I've been doing everything you asked me to. I deserve a two care. I said, he ain't got two care money, baby. Um, Bianca and Daniel. Girl, you still on that coffee? Just get up and go get your ass a cup of coffee. Damn. She wearing my, man. She wearing me thin with this fake ass uh, Keurig that, that is sitting there. God, she wearing me out. Okay, I'm like, just go put the cup of coffee in your cup. Okay, damn, what is it? Fake ass soldiers, what is it? What, uh, Jesus. And then let me tell y'all something. Bianca got a smart ass mouth. She got a smart mouth. And she, the reason why she's smart ass and controlling is because she is scared that uh, he will relapse. But I can't handle, I can't handle the guilt trips that she try, try to throw on him. And I can't handle the fact that she always feels like he needs to cater to her because she waited. Did nobody tell your ass to wait? Did nobody tell you to wait? You should have kept moving on with your life. Nobody told you to do that and you can't keep throwing that in his damn face. Zora. Z baby, Z baby, Z baby, Z. Y'all late two, two months deuces on the rent. What you been doing? Y'all been smoking? You been smoking the rent? Girl, come here, come here. Come here, tell 
Tell your big sis. You been smoking the weed. You been, you been eating the weed. Why are you late two months on the office rent for the nonprofit? Why, why are y'all late? I, I don't understand that. And then you just telling him, talking about, I thought I was talking, to, telling my friend my business. Excuse me? He started walking with that pink do-rag on that's killing me. I said, Cameron, this little dipset wannabe dude in this pink do-rag is killing me. Stop copying Cameron. He old and whack and don't do it no more. You should stop too. Please stop it. This man and walked in his drawers in a, in, in, in a black beater down the street so far that he called his friend Trey and sat down on a park bench and just started talking and telling him about all his business. How they late, he ain't got no money. He need to get out here and hustle. He ain't come from the streets. He just was in the streets. He told his whole little story. He never did tell Zariah where he at. He never did call and say, I'm safe. And I think he forgot he on the ankle monitor. So we gonna see how this turn out. Oh, Brittany. Brittany and Keurig. Yeah, I call him Keurig. I know his name is Key Rock, but I'm gonna call him Keurig because the way they try, the, 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 the way they doing things, it's a mess. It's a hot mess. Do you hear me? Texas said, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Stay your ass in this government um, hotel, okay? Where could possibly be uh, fruit flies and bed bugs. Y'all sit right here, okay? You hear? Ain't no going to the Beverly. Ain't no Wilshire. Ain't no Holiday Inn. This Motel 4, not 6. Because that ain't shit. That ain't, I ain't even see a light, did y'all? And then Keurig. Call himself, gonna call the leasing lady in Texas and say, hey, I know um, we were supposed to move to Texas, but they tell me, uh-uh, we can't do it. Is there any way I can get my security first, first uh, month, last month, faithful money back? Can I get it back? She was like, mm-mm. We held that, and because we held it, you, we, you made us miss out on money. So, no, we ain't giving it back. We can't give it back, no. I said, I don't know, somewhere that don't sound right. That sound illegal to me. But I mean, different states for different things. I don't live in Texas. I live in Wisconsin. And I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Um, but that that's just my state. Not but you. here's my thing. How you gonna call the leasing agent and not call your mama who is following you to where you supposed to be at and her lease is up and not tell her y'all don't have a roof over y'all heads. Y'all in a government funded apartment. I ain't even, not even an apartment. I have never even heard of a government uh, hotel, motel, holiday inn. I have never even heard of anything like this. But the government is putting y'all here. And you ain't even told your mama to my, uh, her lease up tomorrow. I don't know what to do. Use that bedazzled ass phone and call your mama. Can I just say, Rob, concern for those kids was so touching to me. I love that he had, he showed, you know, concern for the welfare of those children because they saw that fight and it was real bad. And, and, and like, you know, Cheyenne, the little girl said, you know, I've never seen my mom get that mad or or in an altercation. And it, it really scared her. And she couldn't calm her mom down. So, I love that. I love that he, his first thing was the kids first. And and, and then he, you know, was like, Teeny, listen. I, I don't even look at you the same because, you know, you 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 was acting like Evander Holyfield, like you was about to bite her, like like you like you was on some Mike Tyson Evander Holyfield. What is going on? And he was like, why why did you why did you buck up like that? Teeny gonna say, Rob, your mama started it. You walked up. You forgot what you did. She said she come. She started because she always coming around me with with that energy, with that energy. And when she came to me, um, 
she said something out of pocket and i was like why you always talking mad crazy i said but baby you forgetting the key parts in this in this issue you got up you walked up to her you hit her with the low you hit her with the stance you hit her with the stance and you was like what is your problem and you started bobbing and weaving you forgot that? You forgot that, Alpha? Tini said I was looking too cute. I was My makeup was cute. I was looking too fly. And I felt like if your mama want to run up, she going to get done up. I said, uh, one thing, man. One thing. Mama didn't even run up on you. Mama laid back. She leaned back with the rock away. Lean back. She, she hits us with the rock away. She hit us with the breathing stop. For real or give me what you got she hit us with the what? come on now rob in the midst of his conversation said hold up wait ain't nobody even come to my homecoming i just realized that shit nobody came to see about my ass but they texting and shit they texting me talking about what they want what they need don't forget about me. Come see about me. They hit me with all these messages of I need, I won't provide. Ain't none of them come. And she was like, Tina was like, look, I had all this happen. I'm done trying with your mama. But I encourage you to continue to strengthen the bond with your mother. Um... I don't know where there's a, why there's a disconnect. I don't know, but that's between you two. But I'm telling you now, if she come up in here, don't invite her to nothing else. Because if she run up and she come up, I'm sure it's going to be on site and we going to go. Rob said, here's the problem. Rob said, here's the problem. They think I got it. I ain't got it no more. He said, when I was in prison, I, I could I could help because I could gamble. I could, you know, hustle and the money was easy and quick to come and I could I could shoot it. He said, I'm out in the real world. I, I can't gamble hustle like that. This is the real world. I'm going if I do what I was doing in prison, I'm gonna back, end up right back where I just came from. So they think I got it and they think I'm holding it, but I ain't got it. And that becomes very clear. Melissa and Louie. Mama Louie and her mamoos can't stand Melissa's ass. Louie calls his mama like, hey, ma. And she's like, hey. He was like, uh, ma, you know what? Uh, his little pizzeria, his little, his little work uniform. He like, mama, you know, I'm trying to save up to marry Melissa. She was like, why come? <laughs> oh, oh for, for real, for what? Is she pregnant? Is something wrong? What was going on? Why? You, why? He was like, because I want to marry her because she's been good to me. She was like, you don't say. Well, what you thinking about doing? Well, baby, well, what, what this ring looking like? This man says she wants a two carat, a two carat ring. She said, well, you ain't got that type of money, do you? He said, yeah, I got that type of money. She said, well, shut your mouth and clutch my pearls. She said, must be nice. Mama said, so you got $10,000 $10, to blow on a ring? He said, well, you know, yeah, I've been saving and stuff. She said, mm. She said, well, you know, marriage don't last forever. And I'm just here to tell you, baby, I did it three times. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, you, you might want to get one of these rings out of my drawer. <laughs> you might, look, I got a ring. She said, I got a ring. I got a ring. <laughs> Not a ring. I got a ring um, in, in, in my bottom drawer that one of them gave me. Um, you give it to her, you propose and marry her with that thing. Because I had that on long at all. He was like, no, nah, mama, I'm going to give her what she said she wanted. A two-care ring. She was like, hmm. Now, if it, was it me? Was it me? Or I was thinking like what mama was thinking. All the shit I ain't got you out of. All the times I embailed you, helped you, and you got $10,000 on a ring? And you ain't hit your mama hand with a hundred dollars. Oh, y'all, Zariah and Troy. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell you about them. Okay, so Troy, 
realizing he got to try to figure out how to get this money. Okay, they need to catch up on this, on this, uh, this rent that they're behind on. Now, Zariah, you need to stop scheming on Noxima, bitch, and the rent because neither one of them are serving you, Zariah. Honey, <sighs> communication is first. I'm here to tell you, you was dead wrong for not telling him about them bills. Now, granted, I know he just got out of prison and you probably were so lost and caught up in the rapture. Shout out to Anita Baker. You you forgot to tell him that you behind on, the, on, on some things. But baby, when you started that nonprofit and you decided y'all still want to wake up, wake and bake and 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 y'all got a nonprofit for mental health, that is confusing to me. They have a nonprofit dealing with mental health, but your husband is waking and baking in the morning. And you telling him don't smoke at all. And you judged his mama for her gummy usage but you got a non-profit make that make sense to me y'all i don't understand that and that might not be for me to understand okay what i'm saying is zuraya you play many games with your skincare and you're playing games with your bill money what else is gonna happen okay troy does come back he he comes back and she's like where you been you was at some woman's house i said girl we thinking about the wrong thing okay the wrong thing. He was like, no, nah, uh, Trey and I sat and talked and I came back to, to talk to you. And I think we just need to get better at communicating. And um, I got I got to figure this out. All she had to say was, well, I'm telling you now, if you're thinking about hustling to get us this money, you might as well stay right here and I'll bring your stuff out to you. Girl, how else is he going to get this money? I just, I, what's your plan? Zariah, what's your plan, okay? Because we know it's not going to see a dermatologist. So what is your plan, okay? Now, cut cut it out. Cut it out. You are being really nasty and mean to him when you not right. Teeny bitch, what kind of pool was y'all at that charged you $250 for season's pass? This is not Six Flags. I ain't see a Ferris wheel. I ain't see shit that costs two fifty. This lady says she at the neighborhood pool. She at the cool waters. Okay, she <clears throat> her kids want to swim. Okay, and she talking about some. How much do it cost? They ain't got no day passes. You let these people, these old ass people at this park, <laughs> play you. For two, talking about a season's pass, they can come as much as they want for two hundred and fifty dollars. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I got you. Shit, two fifty. You give me the damn two fifty. Here you go. Finding Nemo in this bitch. Out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is my baby old bad poo. Um. Anybody got a bike pump? I need a bike pump. Anybody got one of them? We'll make this shit do for two fifty. You ain't got it. Your man say you ain't got it, but here you go pulling out your uh your cash app card. Here you go pulling out your debit card, and you can't afford the pool. All because these kids want to swim. How often? Look, let me tell you, for two hundred and fifty dollars, they asses better go every damn day. Do you hear me? Cause this good ass, this good ass finding Nemo blow up pool I got. Shit, you can't tell me. They would have had fun up in here. Okay, y'all just take turns. The hell is wrong with your girl? Shit. Let me try to. It's going to take us a while, but I got you. <laughs> Baby, she crazy. But let me tell you, her kids got so much good sense. That girl, that baby girl and that baby boy, her, her son and daughter, they said, Mama, we rocking with you and I was real nervous and scared for you. But that man, mama, Rob, my daddy, my supposed to be daddy, mama, I ain't feeling her because the stuff that she said and did to my mama, mm-mm, not gonna fly with me. Now, baby boy says it was a better way to handle that. I mean, you can't you can't fight and you and do all of that. That was just inappropriate. I said these kids have so 
much sense. Teeny, you are doing an amazing job parenting these young adults. I will, girl, I will give it to you. They are smart. They are, they, they are articulate. They, they, you know, they weren't very emotional in that scene. They just was being honest with you. They not messing with, they supposed to be grandma. They heard what she said about them ragged ass kids that Rob taking care of, okay? They heard it. They had to have heard it, okay? I agree with the babies, okay? And they don't have to. And they don't look at her the same, and that's fine. And I wouldn't push the issue or make it uncomfortable, okay? Now, lastly, let's talk about um, Michael and Justine. <laughs> Uh, if, if if I haven't said it yet or before, I'm gonna say it now. Michael, you have you you need anger management. You have some issues, and um, you don't own that house. I'm pretty sure you don't. So you better be making your your damn way to a Home Depot to buy a new door, okay? Or that's coming out your security deposit. What the hell? Okay. Justine gets a call from her son, Santana. Santana is autistic. I was not aware that um, Justine was um, a mother of an autistic child. That, that's great. Awesome. I, I wish they would have spoke on that more. Um, but yes, her son is autistic, okay? And... Um, Rob, not Rob, Michael's son, Michael Jr. Well, that's okay. That is what Santana feels. Santana said he is, he is, uh, being aggressive. Okay. I'll say that word, um, due to YouTube, uh, issues. He is being aggressive with him and they got into a confrontation. Michael pushed and threw Santana to the ground and Santana ended up throwing his phone and it was broken. Rob and Justine get to the home. They're rushing. They don't know what they're walking into. After hearing what happened, what Santana's viewpoint, Michael really didn't have no viewpoint of why he was uh, charging and aggressive towards Santana, except for the fact that he was talking about his mama. And Santana was like, no, I wasn't. Okay. Rob literally said, you guys are on punishment to the end of time. And this blended family thing is hard to deal with. This is exactly why you don't need no more kids. Michael, this is exactly why you don't need any more kids. That's one. Because you, you didn't even handle this right. Okay. I want to know why he's being aggressive towards Santana. Okay, that's one. Two, you mad about the phone being broken. You was like, you, he, Rob was, I'm not Rob, I'm sorry. Michael was like, Santana, you just got that phone. You just got, that's a, that's a $2,500 phone you just got. And it's broken. You missing the point. You are missing the point completely. I don't know why you didn't why you didn't see you you should have been addressing the 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 attack you should have been ad addressing the aggressive behavior that your son was provoking on to Santana you didn't you didn't address that at all and then you got so mad you punched the hole I said editing um something happened in the midst of that because yeah why why did that happen I'm confused. Why did that happen? It was like it went from they were talking and, and next thing you know, he was punching the closet door. Something happened. Something, I, I'm missing something in the middle there. And please correct me if I'm wrong, but don't y'all think something happened? I don't know. It just, and then he was like, he just left. And I, I was like, yeah, you, yeah, Michael, you need anger management because you didn't address the problem with the two boys. You just said they're going to be on punishment and you're mad about the phone. 
Hey, boo, did you hit subscribe? Did you hit subscribe? Listen, that was our episode for this week. Thank you once again for liking this video. Comment below on what you thought of the episode and what do you think of the channel thus far, okay? If you're new here, once again, my name is Carla. If you are returning, thank you again for watching. Thank you for rocking with me. And if you haven't subscribed, but you know you're feeling my vibes, girl, do what you doing? Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification, okay? I will see you guys next week for another episode. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I love each and every last one of you. And thank you once again. I'm Carla. Bye.